kidding him. A S E D. Literally me when I come. Don, how was your trip? Just talk about that. Uh, Don, Don got married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I just had a lovely weekend. Um, I will say I watched Van Helsing on the plane back. And the Hugh Jackman one? Mm, so it, good. Banger. I love <clears> Hot <throat> vampire babes. Kate Beckinsale not. on that movie is no. so fucking sexy. You didn't like the three wives? You don't like Kate wives. Beckinsale? I, I, yeah, well, okay, here's the thing. Are you gay? Yes. The, ah! Oh! Oh, he said, yeah, he Whoa. said he's gay! He said he's gay! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Puck champ, Puck champ, Puck champ. The vampire chicks. Hot. Uh, a highlight since my high, since my childhood. I was waiting was for it. Was it ruined? No, it was good. Was it like N64 vampire, graphics? Vampire chicks were good. No, I don't think you look Kate, back, you're Kate like... Kate Beckinsdale is good, or whatever her name is. Yeah. But, like, it's just so... Stupid. What did you expect, Don? It's a Van Helsing movie. Well, I mean, I I remembered it being amazing when I was a kid. Like everything well, yeah, about dude, it. You're a kid. You're retarded. But there's movies that were amazing when I was a kid, and they sustained amazingness going forward. But I remember it was also like a cultural event when that came out. Like the monsters were everywhere. They were on Burger King cups and McDonald's things, and they sold costumes for years. And like you know, adult couples were being Van Helsing and Kate Beckinsale mm. and stuff. But but yeah, I just don't get it. It seemed it was like so bad and hammy like i'm amazed that it caught the traction that it did it was a different time i guess yeah i was just disappointed plus like kate beckinsdale yeah she's hot she doesn't have the biggest hits in the world but they really took steps to make them seem as big and like that's the style of the era possible yeah so she has like this top that's like stripes and like flesh tones right and Mm. there's all these shots of her running and it's just like awesome no, mm. I, I was surprised by myself because you'd think like, oh yeah, it's you know it's cool like you know running and tits flopping, but I it was really just taking me out of the story. Oddly, I felt myself taking the opposite line of what I usually do. Like they actually should have made her seem kind of realistic and strong instead of just like, you know, that's just not pleasing you. I, I, I guess not. I, I think that's not. a shit take, bro. I disagree. I think Go it's back th- and watch those it. are the best monster transformations ever. I, yeah, well, I wanted to, be, you know. To me admitting I was gay, like I, I wanted to be taken in by gritty Van Helsing, you know. I mean, it would and be cool to have like an illegitimate Van Helsing film that because it's like that. And it could have been if they just made it a little more. <laughs> no, violent. they couldn't. Yes, have it been. could have no, been. It was too cheesy and stupid, and like all the, it, it, it was not grounded. It just, anything. It just needed to be. You had the you, you had the comedic fryer. You, you get you, in get, there. you get more than a, and I I can't believe I'm saying this. We get more than enough titties from the vampire wives. So like, what does check, that have to do with anything? Good. Because it was I'm just, talking about a good. I'm talking about a good movie, not just getting your dick hard. You can have a good movie and get your dick hard. Well, I agree, but I'm just saying that I think. Mm, I, I think. I, I think the, you're these are my too. these are my editorial notes. Mm. This is what I'm saying. Oh, well. you, you, we have checked that box of the vampires, and yeah, Kate Beckinsale. She was awesome in Underworld. That was a good mm. hot Kate Beckinsale character. In this one, it's just plus her like cheesy Transylvanian accent. Mm. Yeah, I just I don't know. Mm. Wasn't into it. Well, for what it is, I mean, it was like, for God's sakes, there's a machine gun crossbow in it. For what it was, I was, awesome. was I was stoked on it. Awesome. Yeah. It was, I was stoked. But yeah, also just like werewolves ripping off their skin and they're like eight <clears throat> feet tall and just yeah, like Yeah, that was zero, fucking sick too. Zero body just fat. The, just the, the uh, <clears throat> progression and everything else. It was just a really I liked good Dracula, movie. but he seemed kind of like weak at the end. Hmm. It wasn't even like a fight. Just Hugh Jackman transforms into a wolf and just fucking gang rapes him. Yeah, they really made that tw- the clock striking midnight twelve times last for fifteen minutes, but it was I still. Uh, I just remember like Dracula like trying to fly away like a bitch, and <clears> Hugh Jackman's <throat> like, Argh. and just rips his throat out, and that's it. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah you kind of wanted of, something a bit more from that. Anticlimactic, for sure. but boobies. Mm-hmm. So yeah, hmm. I remember when I was a kid, I I, I fucking love that movie. I like the beginning a lot. I remember as soon as I saw the beginning with. <clears throat> Isn't he Jekyll fighting Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde? Yeah. And then they made they like, like a spin-off. <clears throat> Did they? Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, maybe they didn't. I'm thinking of a League of Extraordinary <clears throat> oh, Gentlemen, but that wasn't oh, a spin-off, yeah, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I have no, no idea. No. You, do you know what? For a, for a serious, well-made, fantastically executed Van Helsing series, you should surely check out Helsing on Netflix. Is it? 
Helsing? Mm-hmm. Is that the anime? anime? Mm. Oh, wait, I'm think that is the name of the anime. So maybe it's something else. But there, it is, there was uh, a movie it's called. Awful. There was a movie called Van Helsing, and it's like a girl Van Helsing. Well, that's the Netflix series I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like she's. It's terrible. It's so it's, bad. It's contemporary, of course, too. Yeah. It's getting to yeah. the, it's getting to this point where like the Van Helsing is like falling into the same spot as like Hansel and Gretel. Remember when uh, they they've made so many Hansel and Gretel films that like there was a movie that came out that really wasn't too bad. Like it was shot really well. The story was whatever, but mm. it was like a pretty well shot like horror film. But they had to call it uh, Gretel and Hansel. So people could actually find it. Was this the it's like was, was this the horror movie or the action movie? Remember this was the horror one. The the action the cool, one was with Jeremy Renner. Yeah, yeah. Which was awful he too. He was just Hawkeye, but he's Hansel. Yeah, and he's just like <laughs> I'm Hansel. I I'm, I want candy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hansel, don't. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but actually, the first time I saw Van Helsing in theaters, it was. Uh, the projector was fucked up, and I was still like enjoying the film, but the movie was super like dark; you could kind of barely see it. Mm-hmm. But it was like they like shot off the movie right at the point where he cuts off Mister Hyde's uh, arm, and he's like falling and transforming back into a <clears throat> regular dude. Right, right. And I was like, "This is awesome!" Because right around the same time, like Hellboy came out, mm-hmm. and I was like super. And the, those I feel like are kind of tonally the same. So I was just into that like weird. Like I didn't gothic. like Hellboy though. I liked oh, Van Helsing. God, I just I didn't like Hellboy. Hellboy. I don't know why though, really, because like, well, actually, that's not fair. There's like, there's still a lot of things with that original Hellboy movie that are like, also, I also like Guillermo or Del Toro or whatever. I just hate Hellboy's design. I think he looks mm. stupid and corny. <clears throat> yeah, he does. Even in the comics, I think he looks yeah, corny. No, he, he does. I think he works better in the comics because it's a comic, but I think it also fits Mignola's style. But I also like the actor that plays him. He's oh, he's always in a bunch of like, I hate weird that actor. shit. What's his name? Ron, Ron Perlman. Perlman. I like him. He ruined Maine Coon Cats. What? You heard. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did he... Re- what even is that? A breed of cat. It's a breed of cat that looks just like Ron Perlman. Oh, I always so wanted Ron one. Like and now whenever I look so at them, I'm like, all I see yeah. is Ron Perlman staring back at me. Did you ever see Enemy at the Gates? Yeah, the Russian English film. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that movie. We are that. Russian. Exactly. But here, Ron, here. Ron Perlman is in that too. And he has a really funny... Oh, back. yeah, he gets fucking got. Yeah, like the, straight the, away. The Russian sniper. No, it's way later. In the well, film. I'm in the middle of the film. Then he like jumps the gap, right? Yeah, he gets sniped right there. So funny. Based. That movie is. I I love that movie. It's such a stupid like. I love it. Too, it's, yeah. good. it's so that like weird fuck scene. Like all these like Russian people because the Russians are like the good guys in this one because it's all about Stalingrad or whatever. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Or part of. It. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, so it's but, about the Eastern Front. But the. Uh, but like all these Russians are laying next to each other and there's one hot chick in the whole Russian army. And of course, Jude Law, the main character is like fucking her like w- while everybody else is sleeping. And it's like this quiet sex scene. It's so fucking like unwarranted, like no reason for that to be in the movie. But I yeah. thought it was a great sex scene. That's I mean, how I, I yeah, like I get, all my sex. I get I mean, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Quiet. It's just like quiet. Shh. Stop breathing. <laughs> You're breathing too loud. That's what I do. <laughs> Got very aggressive. Were you there? At the end. Were you there with me just then? No, I wasn't. Were you transported to no. my bed? Mm-mm. I don't like you saying were you transported to my bed. That made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Don, what are you doing on your phone? What are you even doing? On, what are you even doing on it? Nothing, dude. Leave me alone. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the f- is wrong with you, Don? Uh, this is disgusting. It's healthy. There's nothing wrong with fetishes. What? No, I don't care about dog fart porn. I don't care about lacy green porn. I don't care about 3D footer porn. I'm shocked you aren't using NordVPN to hide your browsing data. It's so easy to use. <laughs> Hold on. It's. It's so easy to use. <laughs> you can connect with one click and enable auto connect. Was that pretty good? This is good. Plus, Nord has incredible speed. It's been confirmed by all speed tests. NordVPN is the fastest VPN available. My favorite thing about NordVPN is you can access content from other regions. And as an Englishman, it's very helpful to me. Oh. Well, that all sounds great. But they probably don't encrypt all your traffic, so your internet service provider can slow down your streaming speed. That's, That's the, the best, best part. part. They do they encrypt, your encrypt your data. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash cream and sign up for a two-year deal to get 73% off and a special bonus gift of one month free. 
Don, do you have any plans <clears throat> for Halloween? This will, you have an evil glint in your eye today, Don. You look oh. like you're ready to kill someone. Oh, wait, no, so this won't come out. So this will come out after Halloween, yeah, after so Halloween. Yeah, I guess enough. people will know in the future, but mm -hmm. what do you plan? I have no plans at the mm. moment. I have not decided. Why do we have Halloween yeah. decorations up, then? Well, it's mm. still Halloween-themed. Right. For us. We're in the spirit. Okay. Mm -hmm. The uh, Last year, you had a lot of plans. I did. What, 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 what's the distraction this year? We already just, talked about this. Did we? Yeah, last one time. Yeah. Yeah. There's no kids anymore, probably that's what he been, said. Probably mm. been through this. And then he was like, let's do it here, and then... But the thing about doing it here is that I have to drive home, and I don't want to do that either, because you just, you know, sit in the front yard and, like, have a beer, and, yeah, I don't want to have to drive home after, so I don't have any plans. Sad Halloween. <laughs> Trevor thrust a curveball, we're drowning here. Trevor, uh, he put forward a... Interesting philosophy question after the last time we had that adventure. It's not another gay one, is it, though? <laughs> it might be. Well, then, yeah. I mean, not to say we should never do gay again, but... Uh, well, you can just... You can just... Mix it up. You, <laughs> you can just... <laughs> you, John killed Halloween. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's Halloween true. has ended at this point. What are, it what hasn't you, begun what, at, what at, at, for, at this literal point. What are your plans for Halloween, Hunter and Trevor, by extension? We were gonna dress up as Bojack Horseman and Todd. <laughs> okay. If Dude, you did, cool. if you didn't, if you didn't hear that on Mike, <laughs> uh, me and Trevor are going to dress up like the two hilarious characters, Bojack Horseman and Todd from Bojack Horseman, get in a pool and kill ourselves uh, with a gun. <laughs> so. You seem to view these men as like conjoined twins. Mm, a little bit, yeah. Why? Well, they have this this cool suicide pact that I'm jealous of. That is true. Of. Well, I we I do. We been, do I could have been Princess Carolyn. I've been planning. Trevor I could. I could have been Princess Carolyn by the pool when I like killed myself when I discovered you both dead because I was so distraught. No. And then our sp spirits come back and get in our bodies, and we like throw you out of the region of us because we don't want you to be a part of our spotlight. <laughs> Your suicide pact. And then we, and then we all <laughs> ran down again. <laughs> you know, my body's found weeks later and like barely, barely reignites the story. You know. It's yeah. Like oh, there's also another dead guy. <laughs> Dressed he, up like a cat. He was, he was <laughs> cross dressing or something. Yeah, he was mentally ill anyway, <laughs> so it was fine. <laughs> pretty, pretty normal news. Psychopath is killing himself every day. Hunter and I are holding hands with a big flower mm. peace sign and dead. <laughs> summer, and then you're just bodies mangled in a ditch. <laughs> Man. <clears throat> uh, Tom hasn't had something to eat, so he's kind of low energy. Tom, what can, we, what can we talk about? Can we give you anything to get you higher in energy? I want a loaf of French bread and a Red Bull. It's so <laughs> the amount like when it, like a, a French loaf, which is for fucking young viewers out there who still suck on their mom's titty and don't pay shit. That sounds awesome. Mm. And you eat you eat so fast. Yeah. Have you noticed how fast mm, it, it, Tom, he eats and he's, drinks? He's always been uh, the one of extremes of no willpower and then absolute willpower. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to explore but, but, this further. But, well, I, think, I think you're constantly fighting the no willpower thing, and then you take it like completely reverse because that's the only way. A to, man of extremes, they yeah. call him. It's the only do way to think put a can on it. Do you think yeah. it's willpower? It, a bit that, of an extremist, you do, might say. Do you think that it's willpower that has him eat so fast, or is it the lack of will? It's the lack of will, and then mm. the, his only way to put a bottle like it to you know box it up is to go the complete other direction. You know. Hmm. Yeah, I uh, if I if I want to make a change i need to go like full nazi with it mm. yeah okay. i think a lot of people are like that too <laughs> <laughs> there's a little crop in on his face when he uh... <laughs> the uh no when he was a teenager teenager he would um just slam like rock star and stuff and every day just rock star and a big cherry bake well mm. gets the engine going and a big cherry what cherry bake well it's a big like cake thing with icing and a glacier cherry in the middle and like raspberry jam in the pastry is oh. that something from overseas it is it's delicious do you ever find any of those is there like a british baking shop i feel like there would be more british baking shops here in america especially with the success of the great <laughs> british, great baking, british show. baking show right am i wrong to think that mm. that doesn't seem too outlandish there's a I want it. English we don't, we don't really sweets aisle at, in heb culturally any insulting. appreciation what? for your pastries though Hmm? Like I, I can't think of like a British, a great British pastry that is enjoyed by Americans. 
No, mm. certainly not. But our pastries are fucking like sure, banging. Sure, yeah, but we just we just reject them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's just like what? You put like cheese in one? a can. That, so. well, that one that one that you said sounded good. Cherry bake roll. Yeah. Oh, it's mm. delicious. It's like the the base is kind of got like almond uh, flavoring, and then it's got that like raspberry jam in the middle. Nice icing on the top with the. I thought you were let down the last time you had them. Weren't you like mailed them and it sucked or something? Well, the problem is, is it depends <coughs> where you get the cherry bake rolls from. And since I stopped eating dairy. Mm. You can't get they're just not the fucking primo Mr. Kipling. Right, right. Mr. You Kipling gotta cherry bake was dairy. Jammy Dodgers. Good biscuit. <laughs> nope. Delicious biscuit. That does sound like a made up thing. Jammy from, Dodger! Like someone Willy making Wonka. fun of England. Yeah, yeah exactly. Jammy Dodger. Yeah. What a fucking bit of a Jammy Dodger crisp. What about Jaffa cakes? You guys got Jaffa cakes? Nope. Ah, oh, delicious. Little kind of cake bit you on you the have bottom. A lot of baked goods, though. <clears throat> Orange, like zesty, Bay zingy candy. jelly in the middle. Not yeah. like jam, but like jello. And chocolate, dark chocolate on top. Do you think people that are avid bakers, do you think they probably know all this stuff, or do you think it's so. I have no idea. English. Okay, no idea. Because mm-hmm. I, I have, I've never heard of that before in my life. Have mm-hmm. you heard of any of this <clears> before? <throat> like? uh, Jammy Dodgers made fun of them for the Jaffa cake. Or what was Jaffa that? cake? I don't think we've. Oh, about they're great. That. No, there was a very interesting legal treatise on the Jaffa cake. If okay. you'd like to know, <laughs> sure. Well, there's a certain there's a certain tax on biscuits in the UK or cookies for my foreign audience, and the Jaffa cake people didn't want to pay it. So they had to prove that the Jaffa cake was in fact a cake and not a biscuit, mm. and it went to the highest court of the lands. What, this is win? this is what this is what law is like in, mm. in yeah. Britain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take it all the way to the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and do you know how they proved that it was a cake? Because when biscuits or cookies get old, mm. they go soft. When cakes get old, they go hard. I rest my case, said Mr. Jaffa. What year was this? Nineteen seventy-eight. <laughs> were they were they called were they called Jaffa something else before that, or were they always cakes? Jaffa nondescripts. <clears throat> yeah. No, they were called Jaffa cakes. Okay. It pains me to hear that you don't like fish and chips either. I like the chips element. I just don't like fish. Mm. I've seen so many like. Well, to be fair, once again, it's just one of those things where you see it on TV, but who knows? But like food, foodie kind of shit, where people are like, we're going to East Brighton. Or, I don't know. That's a place that has fish and shit. But he's sure. just, yeah, he sit there and it's like some fucking like little small shop in the mm-hmm. middle of like just all this other bullshit. It's like some old guy. I've like, oh, been the people who fucking love me. Boy works in the big, whatever. And he's like, yeah, it's a family run restaurant. And then. It's like the most golden, beautiful piece mm-hmm. of fried fish you've ever seen. <coughs> yeah, and all we have is like just, Long John Silver uh, or like mm. frozen bullshit. <laughs> do you want to know they do fish and chips up north? What do they do? They get a bag, like a paper bag, mm. and they fill it with gravy and they dump the chips in there and right. you just eat a bag of <laughs> gravy and chips. A paper bag. Yeah. That sounds like a white trash thing that people used to do in my school where you would take a family-sized bag of Doritos and you would This make... is already way worse than yes, what I just said. Exactly. And then you would open it up and then you would uh, you would make like about half a pound of ground beef and put it in there with lettuce and nacho cheese and like tomatoes and shit and you would seal it up. Oh, it's ethnic. And, and you mess, you'd mix it around and then you eat that and it's nachos. Yeah, white trash nachos. That's nice. Is it ethnic? Yeah, it's nachos. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. A little spice in this. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Ooh, you guys a are foreign flair. bringing a bit of a, the border to you. What That's a nice. what a worldly worldly. But it was entree. disgusting because they should have like clumps of cheese. It's and called Mismex. That'd <laughs> be fun. Mismex. Mismex. Yeah. It's that. It's like Tex-Mex but from Missouri. Oh, okay. Mismex. Yeah, I'm caught up. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Canmex. Okay. Okay. Kansas City. Okay. <laughs> it's really hard for you to keep Thank up, you. huh? Yeah. No, yeah, I guess so. Shit. I'm going to make Britmex. <laughs> Did you guess what Britmex is? <laughs> mm. <laughs> you wanted my energy reserves. B- You're getting them. A- <laughs> S- e- D- <laughs> Literally me when I come. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so he good. Just walks over to the wall, like just naked in the dark. B, he's just banging in the wall. He he, he's not bang. I like to imagine he gets up, he stands in the corner, he has like his limp cock, and there's still a little bit of cum drizzling out, and he's just like, 
He stands like that in the sh- moonlight shadow. The- no, my cum lasts as long as it takes to say the word. It's just <laughs> like it's a flow. It's like string cheese. You just have, coming you have out. to space that though because you can feel how much is coming up. Yeah, so you're like, like B. <laughs> 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 it's like so much. You have to rush through the rest when you run out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god oh, baby man. you're so good <laughs> well done oh. and it pats me on the back that saved a rich like, like me. What do you have to say about that, though? Mm, I've, I've established I will not partake in these. I really wish that you would stand up and games. salute. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to see me. Would, you cannot appreciate that gag. You can see, it, you can see your no, big fat cock, at least in your jeans. Whoa! Look at that thing tucked away in there. That is an Alabama black snake. I feel like you're saying that wrong. It's Auga. Auga. You're like, like Aum Bap. Aum Bap. <laughs> you know, from the Jim Carrey classic, The Mask. That's right. Auga. Aum Bap. Aum Bap. I was going to be like, stop doing racist shit. Like, you were doing like, Aum <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Boys, here's a here's a good question. When are we gonna do? Okay, I was. Yes, my excitement. What are when are we gonna bring back movie nights? We have an additional person here that can mm-hmm. enjoy the film with us. Uh, when when are we gonna bring that back? I thought that was a it was getting to be a good consistent thing. Whose turn was it? Sally wasn't mine. Yeah, probably my. What fault. happened? Probably my fault. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm sorry, everyone. Mm. Down any day, any time. That's what, what's an, what's, what's an <laughs> idea? What, 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 has yeah. been on, what has been on your mind? What have you been wanting to watch? I'm trying to think because there was something. Let's see but... Dune. Let's see Dune. Let's see Dune. I would like to go see Dune. Yeah. Dune, 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 go, Dune, Dune. I, I want to see Dune, it in theaters, though. I don't want to yeah, rent it. Let's see Dune. I don't yeah. think in the theater. Okay, yeah, Justin saw it in theaters. He said it was no, awesome. I said I don't think you can rent it. Is what I mean. <laughs> it's on HBO you, Max. Oh, is it on HBO? Wow. Yeah, I heard the only way to see that movie is in IMAX. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'd be down. We won't want to go. Um, is there an IMAX? I'm sure there's, there's, there's definitely there's an IMAX somewhere, somewhere near there. Yeah. It's not like that in England. <clears throat> One IMAX in the whole country. Maybe we could see it Monday morning in IMAX. <clears throat> I am oh, down. Morning. Get off your phone, Trevor. Look up and see if there's an IMAX morning. Thanks, Trevor. Trying to keep keep on your short, tight leash. Mm-hmm. Yeah! It's a Brian Callen callback. Remember that guy that got canceled? That fucking pig. <laughs> that was the other one. No, no they, they, they both, both did. Yeah. Oh, Brian Callen, what did he do? I, I don't. I, I think something of like an allegation, like twenty mm. years ago or something. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty years? Yeah. That's yeah. fucking. What's yeah. the? What is that? What oh, runs shit. out? Like, what runs out in twenty years? Uh, Statue of limitations. Uh, three, mm. He's a free man. Mm. I was gonna say I totally forgot. I get back on the first, so I can't do it in the morning. No, it's your fault. No, you're the reason. We do it Tuesday. I could. Tuesday. We could do the afternoon. And then record the next day. <clears throat> or do, yeah, just record Tuesday again. Well, I'm, more, I'm more than happy as soon as Tuesday's I get fine. to go meet you somewhere. Yeah. Cool. Tuesday it is. To see it or record? See it. Mm. And then record. I still want to see that night movie. We can do double. The, the double last, feature, boys. The last duel. Double feature? Yeah. How was the REM fair? Oh, last weekend? Yeah. yeah it was good. I, you know you what? didn't take your boots. You know what? I will say that. I did forget the boots. <laughs> but I, I was sad when I was there. I was sad. Why? I felt like it had changed. One year since you've been? Yeah, well, I mean, no, it's been closed for two years, and then it was, it's been sold out because it was closed last year. Right, so. right, right. But yeah, just a bunch of the cool stuff was gone, and then uh, I've said this before, but I, I feel like initially Stranger Things repopularizing D&D was cool because, you know, D&D as a concept mm-hmm. is kind of cool, but, you know, obviously since then D&D has been... Like, so now the Stormtroopers are back? Well, well, yes, there's that too. The Ren Fair is not a costume party, everybody. 
It is it is a historical reenactment. No. We are reenactors. That's not true. You're going to no, We are reenactors. You're going to experience <laughs> history and be a part of history. You want. It's I'm with Don on this one. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean but that's 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 like a typical noise. You know, you got Harley Quinn and fucking the Joker walking around that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Ren Fair. And, the, and, and then a bunch of cool steampunk time travelers. They time traveled to the I, Renaissance. I saw a lot of, of uh, in Kansas City, you know, it was. I cannot like, fucking stand that it's shit. It's the worst. You, you, but in Kansas City, you know, it was a big one was like Doctor Who shit. <laughs> so that was what made you sad? Or? I, th- I think, it, yeah, it was just a degree of that. There's like such a greater concentration, especially from when I was a kid, of people that are just there dressed up like retards. Yeah. You know? And it upset me. I was, looking Justifiable. At, I was looking around and I looked down at my awesome period accurate costume and I was like, this place is What did you wear for your boots? This place is going <laughs> to train. <laughs> Just a 35-year-old thir- yeah. man in like a night <laughs> outfit. This place is going down the tubes. <laughs> Just, I didn't feel welcome anymore. You see a small <laughs> Asian man, you're like, that's not period accurate. No! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna get a glass of beer, then I'm gonna do the the dragon joust, where the thing is where you sit on the <laughs> seat and get the ring. <laughs> hey, adults aren't allowed to do that. That'd be awesome. You're yeah, not allowed yeah. to do that. No, oh. too big. Yeah. No, I guess it's probably right. I'm going on it. <laughs> He's just fighting. With I'm them. doing it. <laughs> See. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I got a free drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what? So what else changed? <laughs> or just that? Just that was more. F- yeah, well, in all the sh- all the old shows I used to watch when I was a kid, a <laughs> which were also cool and based, you know, were gone. Like, like there was one called um, the bloody drama and the bloody improvisation. But yeah, they would just make like off color jokes and stuff. And actually, that reminds me, the one show I did watch that I liked was like it's called like uh, he'll be the skinny German juggle boy, and he made a bunch of really cool anti vegan and anti communist jokes. And it just felt like it stuck out so hard, you know, compared to everything else at the fair. Mm. But I think he's been there for like 30 years and they, you know, never asked him to change his act. So it's just Ben Shapiro in a leotard. <laughs> Do you guys have like a LARP pit in your no, fair? We never, we never. I'm kind of glad to. That was, that, that was like one of my favorite editions. It's I mean, it so sa- funny. It sounds fun to witness. But, it's very but funny. Just attracting those people to my we precious red about fair. the LARP pit in the last one. I, th- I think those LARP people bend the history a little too much too you know it's one thing to be a cool wizard mm. but to be <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to i'm trying to <laughs> i um, i did i did think there was um well i went with my uh i went with my girlfriend and my stepsister my stepsister did like this elf thing is I she did, the gypsy one or is it no she was an elf no she's not the one that thinks she's a gypsy so but, she's uh, a horse girl <laughs> yeah yeah she likes horses but, uh, was she, she galloping up again? Mm-hmm. No, she wasn't being a horse girl on this particular weekend. Oh, she was good. just being an elf. I'm a horse. But, <laughs> but, but we saw the king, and I did think it would be awesome, but it would never happen. Re my previous point when we talked about the Ren Fair, if the characters there had, like, xenophobia towards other races. Yeah. You know, if it, just, just, just a little, like, Skyrim, Morrowind conflict to inject in your little, you know, fantasy play that we're having here. So we have elves walking around and stuff. So if like if he it would just be really funny if he had a problem with the elves in his like city or town, and if he went up and talked to them, if you're dressed like an elf, he's like hostile. To you them. there, <laughs> point to you, come here. He comp- complains about like the the you know raid runs <laughs> the elves are doing on the borders. But see, you know, be funny, fun though too is that there was like an elf area too where they're, like you got like yeah, well, all the, elf, all, all the elf people are like we don't serve your kind here. <laughs> it's like your normal ears. Go to the fish and chips and get the- out of here, nubby ears. <laughs> I don't trust a man who doesn't sink in the snow. <laughs> I, uh, that would actually, that's what I'm saying. That would actually be, be really sick. funny. That would, uh, yeah. in- increase patronage, you know? Oh, yeah. It's like Skyrim. Especially if, like, they could manhandle you and put you in, like, a tomato <laughs> barracks or whatever. So, be like, take oh, him oh, out no. back and rape him. <laughs> <laughs> those, those elf men are basically women anyway, am I right? <laughs> 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 I wish there was a medieval times around here, man. <clears throat> there is. And there's Fuck. a restaurant? I think I've seen one. Dude, we gotta go. Do you remember? We did that night video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh mm. my god. We went to, was it medieval times? Mm-hmm. We went to medieval times when we were like 
17 or 16 dressed as knights and like <clears throat> it was sucked because it turns down it turns out it was closed that day but we still Tuesday. had good good banter with yeah, the uh on a tuesday There's with a, the really... like uh with the women there the mm -hmm. people telling people it was closed we dressed in the armor and went up to the two hostesses there that were just there to sell like t-shirts or whatever in the lobby because it isn't going on and we demanded to be allowed in the show you know to compete in the tournament or whatever and just harass them Fuck for, like, God. Know, memories hmm. yeah we should go Mm. It'd be fun. We should go with Jenkins. Yeah, he would make it fun. Mm. I would like to. When he visits, yeah, 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 that'd be that'd be really fun. He, he <coughs> me and Jenkins, if we went, we could be very like wind up merchant Brits and like shout and scream things. It'd be fun. And then we're the we're the socially conscious Americans. Mm. Yeah, we're not so loud. You'd be fun too. <laughs> I would. I would. I would probably want to get you, very drunk there. Can you do the accent too when you're there? Hey, you fucking cut! If I hear red night. For the green night! If I'm going to for the red night. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to sit in different sections. <clears throat> ah! Charge the field. <laughs> That's right, just fucking jump the barrier. Ah! Don's in full in night outfit. <clears throat> no, that was something else that happened. They, they have like a guy now to keep kids from jumping the fence to go joust in the joust. Like at the Ren Fair, right? Right. Because there's just a fence that, you know, between you People and People would jump it. Well, the, uh, these kids came up and it was funny that the king made a little announcement at the beginning and he pointed to the guy that said he's responsible for keeping you people from jumping, right? It kind of sounds like an invitation. <laughs> well, well, so a few minutes later, I if guess he wasn't... He wasn't, he, wasn't, he, wasn't, he, wasn't doing his, he wasn't doing his job, I guess. And his king, the king completely broke character. It was super weird. And he just screamed in the PA at the... <laughs> hey! Get back! <laughs> Get back! Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> so good. Uh huh. You there? You said he broke it, character yeah, with it, the Lincoln Park T-shirt on. Had he still had the accent, that would have been a little cooler. I guess. Yeah. yeah. You there? <laughs> no. Bring honor to the kingdom. He's like famished. <laughs> 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 I'm tired. <gasps> I'm going to go to my horses. <laughs> that's, like, that's the, the this this is the the color yeah. <laughs> you need to have a successful Renaissance fair. Well, that's set a the Cream Crew Renaissance fair. No mm. steampunk fucking losers allowed. <laughs> and elf, yeah, and elf yeah. hatred abound. Yeah. You can string up the steampunk guys for being. You know. I don't even want them like breaking my suspension of disbelief, mm. being hung. Wouldn't that be awesome though? If <laughs> you take you take <laughs> off their outfits and you <laughs> hang them. If there was also like a yeah daily lynching of the street. The, <laughs> the Cream Crew Renaissance Festival with daily lynchings. <laughs> you there, <laughs> orc? <laughs> <laughs> Who fired? Well, then, I heard that. They, then they, uh, then they, Gone. you know, they get a free costume rental to pretend they're like a normal peasant after that, you know? They're just Oh, you know, so we don't actually you, hang people. No, no, you no. Burn, you burn their like yeah, thousand dollar outfit. You're like, like little, here's a potato uh, sack. <laughs> That's what you up. get for being a fucking loser. <laughs> I just wanted to come and have a good time. You guessed wrong, bitch. <laughs> Can I be king? I want to be King Tom. No. King Tom! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Have you heard of Raid Shadow Legends? Yeah, everybody has, everybody has to have Raid Shadow Legends downloaded on their phone. Sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Dude, Cream Crew Renaissance Raid. Festival. Raid. 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 Sponsored by Raid Shadow That's how we make this profitable. I just got Chanaru. I just got Chanaru too. Filthy Japanese Nippon I got a, champion. I got because she's Not so good welcome. on the Doom Tower. Yeah. <laughs> we could have a Doom Tower. That could be the integration. Sick. You yeah. climb the doom tower. It's really a helter skelter. <sighs> Call yourself. Call yourself. The, the, the Beatles song. No, helter skelter. It's like a giant swirly slide. You go on like a mat. Why explain the Beatles culture, song? Culture shock. I don't fucking know. I don't listen to that indie hipster band. And then they they thought that helter skelter right, was like the end of times or something. And I see you again. That's what the whole um, Manson yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, All I can is. tell you is helter skelters are these big towers that you walk up and then you get like a mat. And you sit on it and you go swirly down the tower. You may be a lover, but you ain't no dancer. Hell to scouter. Sound the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sound very right Beatles, doesn't mm. it? Yeah, it's Beatles. Yeah, you know, it was their response to uh, everybody surfing. I, I want to say it's their response to fucking the Who, which people were like, 
The Who made like the heaviest song ever. This is like 1961 or two or something like that. And then Paul McCartney was like, "This fucking bullshit, mate. I'm gonna fucking beat my." Own. And they did that. That's the whole. Whenever they play, that's the song. Was like, "I got blisters <clears throat> on my fingers," because mm-hmm. Ringo had to do just something faster than just. <laughs> so he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, ah! <laughs> what were you even saying about the slide? What was we could have word? a Doom Tower from Raid mm-hmm. Shadow Legends, but, but really, it's a Helter Skelter. It'd be cool if it was one of those towers that you see in amusement parks where you're sitting in and you go really fast up and you go down. One of those oh, drop things. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very period doom. accurate. Yeah. J- just like a $4 million amusement park <laughs> thing <laughs> that we're going to buy for the shitty <laughs> Cream Crew Ren <laughs> Fair. Whoa! It's a doom tower. Dude, people would have so Actually, much fun. Actually, Raid could, Raid could probably buy it. Yeah, Raid mm-hmm. is our sponsor. They're going to fucking foot the bill. Yeah, right. Yeah. All of it. And then still pay us, all right? Yeah, well, obviously. Oh, okay, That's our salary's part of the bill. Yeah, okay, good. Raid World. It's going to cost no. about $40 million. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Can that happen? It's like the Doom Tower costs $4 million and everything else costs about $200,000. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why everything was so expensive. Maybe just startup fees. It won't be as expensive next year. Next year, $85 million. <laughs> We got two. We got two more. Why? <laughs> people love the Doom Tower. People, I mean, it, there's lines. It's like, really fun. We had we had seventy people come in the whole season last year. <laughs> yeah, none of them were welcome in Elf Town. So all that was left was a fucking Elder Skelter. <laughs> well, you can go down the slide, I guess. <laughs> I think uh, oh, we sell some fucking... ice cream. We make up the costs. What do you do with the Jedi's? They're having a fucking lightsaber battle at the end of the day. Was that is oh, that so something that really, actually happened? Yeah, it really upset me on the way out. I would done. <laughs> I, I, I would just. I would, I would just love just be a fly in the situation. In your brain, <laughs> just, well, you, you, a you fly just, in your brain. You, you just see it on my face when you see it. it was just like, you that's what I mean. Though is I just want to. I just want to observe you. Yeah, Hunter's just. St- no, the whole time I'd probably just be fascinated. I'd be in a bush, and I'd just be like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <coughs> 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 I didn't see any stormtroopers, though. To be fair, so it is lame. I mean, I'm I, I'm there with you. I know I'm mm-hmm. jo- Josh around seeking dresses, whatever. But it's like it, it's like if you went to uh, I don't know, like a Star Wars event dressed as like a knight Aragorn or something. I'd be like, <laughs> why? That would be so funny. <laughs> it would be funny. It's the same. It's the same thing though. It's like if I went to a Ren fair and I dressed as Baby Yoda. Well, it's because some things are sacred would, and some aren't. You know, uh, Ren fair. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to it. God, next was it next weekend? Are we? Are we? Is the plan a go? So Trevor revealed uh, an important rule, <laughs> and the big bombshell was that they won't let you in if you are dressed like a stormtrooper, or like a anything unrelated to fantasy for the immersion. Don is just so, Don just soy faced. I've never <laughs> seen someone genuinely soy faced in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting, but that is so they fucking turn them away. So I don't know, but regardless, security at night. We were so gonna awesome. go. We were gonna go okay. as I was gonna go as Baby Yoda. Don was gonna go as yeah, sorry, Esmeralda the Jitsu. Still, you should be still, fine. Yeah, yeah, should be fine. You're, he's fine. Mm-hmm. He was gonna dress up as Esmeralda from Hunchback of Notre Dame, the gypsy chick, and then also Don or Tom was gonna dress up as Rick. Rick, Rick Sanchez. Rick Chez, Sanchez. <clears throat> yeah, but apparently, I'm not allowed. But now no. we need to think of two funnier ideas because uh, we had bulletproof ideas. Mm. Bulletproof for comedy, mm. and now just, we have just, to figure just say out. Say you're a Shrek baby. I was thinking about Shrek, but I feel like it's just that meme. Just I, say I, you're I, an I'm ogre. Not I'm not. No, a, no, I'm not be huge. You baby ogre would say you're. Just say you're. Yeah, I'm just an, say I'm you're an a troll. Ogre. Just, yeah, I'm an ogre. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm a baby I'm a, ogre. Uh, no, I'm not. Baby I'm, ogre. Uh, I'm a baby. I'm a baby. <laughs> ba- baby ogre. <laughs> what are you? Are you baby Yoda? No, I'm a troll. And as soon as I walk by, I'm like baby walking. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a little tiny green lightsaber. <laughs> All right, sir. I see it. it's my walking stick. <laughs> I'm a baby. <laughs> it's my swamp wand. <laughs> All right, so maybe Baby Yoda could still work, but yeah, you're gonna have to figure out something for. <clears throat> that is stuff. so disappointing. What, Baby Yoda? Uh, no, no, he wanted me to be Sanchez Rick. Rick Sanchez. The it would have been so funny to yeah. see that little toy gun. I and then to he... have like the shit edits of like you coming out of a portal, <laughs> 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 and then be like, "Oh, I have to find him." And then, then that was the whole deal is that you enter, you enter a pickle eating competition. <laughs> 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 
Well, yeah, we're, we're that's going to be a video that comes out soon. I'm looking forward to shooting that. We've been trying to do more live action content. By the time this comes out, our pumpkin carving video will be out, right? So, mm. where's I mean, our guess, office tour video? <laughs> right. How is your office coming along, Don? Mm, I haven't touched it in weeks, months. What do you need to get this done? <laughs> I need to have less things on my plate. Your picture is next. Mm-hmm. And I have, I <laughs> and have I stressed you about that at all? No, and I all appreciate right. that because I know you want those markers back, so I appreciate it. But I'm working on it every night, and I'm trying to finish this week. <laughs> I'm we working on it every night. Every night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> every single. I'm very excited. <laughs> every co- every single color is a project. It's like, yeah, it's just a, a thing, but it'll be done soon. Hopefully this week. I'm just. I just try to work. On I feel like you're honestly going to come out of this and like. I bet you. Did, will you I kind of want markers. Yeah. I was going to say. I feel like this yeah. has been a. Incredible well, now, now that I've now that I've like you know gone through the learning curve and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I can appreciate it now. Yeah. But it's yeah. It is. It is very <laughs> stupid and expensive. But, I'm a. Uh, yeah. I'm getting a. <coughs> I signed up for painting classes mm-hmm. with a with a like a mentor painter person. Sweet. I just want to do it from right. that painting you bought. <clears throat> that kid brought the kid in South America, or whatever, mm-hmm. sent you that painting. Yeah, wondered if that inspired you. I it's think very, so. It's very similar to something you would paint. Yeah. If you, yeah, I think so. I think that also. I just for a while I've been wanting to right. get into like more physical things, yeah. physical mediums and shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying doing your thing too. It's a different thing that I haven't done in like yeah, like eight years. Long like a, a long. But this know. way, it's like something that's less commitment too. It's just one day <clears throat> a week for a couple hours, and that sounds like a big commitment. Actually, he was asking me if I <laughs> wanted to another do painting. another painting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Senor. He's awesome, man. Like I, that, that, did you the, say yes? So you condemned him to death. Yeah. <laughs> He's the richest Venezuelan. I cannot eat anymore, Senor. Please, I, uh, another painting. His stuff is fucking... He just did this, like, extremely bloody, like, gruesome, like, dude getting ripped in <clears> half <throat> by these, like, two executioner guys. Do you know what you and should do? Like, That's fucking you should say, yeah, do another painting, but make it as against what he would enjoy as possible. Just fucking torture this man. Make him earn his pesos. <laughs> 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 I, w- I want a cherry blossom. But I want it r- really, really photo-like. No, because he's good at like realistic. But shit. I want it surreal, like I want abstract. I feel like if somebody is extremely good at realism, they I can th- kind of tackle whatever the fuck they want. <clears throat> no, I think you make him do something very like soft and childlike, very kitty. Hello mm. Kitty self portrait. It's like Rockwell thing with Hello Kitty painting. <laughs> <laughs> And he hits her titties out Hello, and, and, titties. Her, and her back pussy, her little fucking back, little <laughs> pink clam. The Norman Walk Rockwell painting, but with Hello Kitty, everybody. It's Trevor's suggestion. Paint it up. And then also have her bend over, and you see her pink little back clam pussy peeking out with back, her back <laughs> from her thighs. And also she has one cheek on, or one hand on her cheek of her ass, and she has it open, and you can see her brown ass. Mm. No, she's, she's, sp- she's, she's spreading for the person behind her. Yeah. <laughs> right. She's got one of those, like, Hello, disgustingly kitty. dark assholes. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's one you of know those. when you see in porn, and the woman, yeah. you're like, Whatever you, is, yeah. this sh- is that shit? She's, like, mm. bend, like, bending over, and he's like, oh, my God, you're so beautiful. And you, like, look over, and it looks like, seriously, we're mm. going to have to bleep this out. It looks like fucking, like, <laughs> hand dark. <laughs> we don't need to cut that We're out. We're bleeping that out. We don't 100%. need to bleep that out. Yes, it's fucking hilarious. Entirely. If you leave, if you leave, can it, I say it? No, <laughs> no, in general. But does it not look like that? Yes. It's fucking crazy. And you're like, <clears throat> that's why I wonder if people are like, oh, I bleached my asshole. I get it now. Mm. Yeah. You know, I fucking right. clean it up. <laughs> you'd have to, you'd have to have the unlucky combination of like very pale skin and a very dark arsehole. Because if you're dark enough, the arsehole doesn't look weird. Yeah, yeah. And if you're if it's a pink arsehole, then it looks normal mm. on like very pale. So yeah, yeah. you almost have to have this like double fucking curse inflicted upon you. <clears throat> I always heard that it's like if your asshole matches the shade of your nipples, that's like what a good asshole looks like. There's theory? The color. People have been yeah, you, you theorizing. Always, you always heard? Or yeah. do you? Okay. That's just what I've heard. From? I don't know. I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> but does that not make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess I guess it does. It just feels like it makes sense. Like your secondary color. Shot from the hip. Person. Thought that I wouldn't get much <laughs> rebuttal, but all right, well, here we are. <laughs> Having to defend myself. Well, I can tell you my asshole does not look the same as my nipples. It's a deep, swampy quagmire. You've looked at your asshole? I, I, you know I do? I squat down and I get a little mirror and I take a look. Have you actually done that? 
many times. Really? Mm-hmm. No, I'm honest. I'm being honest. No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from, a, from a guy, you know how fucking weird that'd be to see your like balls and cock droop down. What if you've got? At, if you've got to check and, for hemorrhoids, and then you're looking at your <laughs> asshole, and you can kind of see you can see a very small reflection of like a t- your tiny <laughs> face, and the t- you're just like. <laughs> It's like this, you know, with like, the sports perspective. Just, it looks like a fucking cave, like all this shit like <laughs> pouring down from the top. You're just like, you just fucking <laughs> go up to the mirror and spread your ass on it behind you. You don't do that. Yeah. <laughs>